Finger Thunker. And I'm Miss Thunker. And what is this? You found this on Facebook. Yeah, two ladies driving through a cemetery, and they happen to capture something very strange. All right, let's check that out. Okay, so here we are at the beginning of the clip. I've stabilized it. We're all zoomed in. Now, why were these girls driving through a cemetery? That we don't know. Okay, because that's a little odd, uh, but whatever. Um, next question is, a lot of people are convinced this is just a grave digger, which, uh, now granted, they're dressed in black head to toe, which is a little weird, but couldn't this be? I mean, you've researched this, right? Yeah, I've done a little research on this. Okay, so what about the, it's a grave digger theory. The cemetery has denied that. They say it's not one of their people. Okay, I mean, it would be weird for them to to deny that they had somebody digging during the day. Right. I mean, maybe if this was nighttime, that would be weird. Okay, so so to uh, to test the, it's somebody with a shovel theory, I dropped a little outline on them there. And if I rock this back and forth, hmm. that that's not a shovel digging motion. I mean, that's somebody using their legs. And their hands. And their hands and their, and watch, you see dirt pop out right there. See that? Yeah. So they're shoveling dirt forward with their hands. Right. And here's something else they do. At the very end of that shoveling motion, they squat all the way down. Hmm. Something else you don't do while digging with a shovel. This is what I'm seeing out there. This is this is the digging motion. Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. And wow, um, the only thing I see here is uh, the creature here is much, much bigger. The thing that's digging in that cemetery it seems really thin and skinny. Yeah, it looks completely black and really skinny. And who's to say they're not all the exact same size? I didn't custom make it Sure. Custom make this guy for that, sure. but but you get the idea. The mechanics of the dig, definitely spot on. Now here is the next little segment. They they didn't leave right then. They stopped and filmed a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It looks like there is long fur or something. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. uh, would you say that's digging with a shovel? <laughs> definitely not. I, I think all you have to do to see this part is clearly see no cemetery employee is going to be out there on their hands and knees. Oh no. Digging. Yeah, you would get fired. Scooping <laughs> out dirt like that. You know, you almost feel sorry for this thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's it's pretty sorrowful, mournful looking digging. It, well, yeah. And I mean, just look at the arms. The arms are so skinny. And and, and there's there's a backstory to the to the people that think this is a Bigfoot. This this woman said there there was a huge fire back. Back behind this area, right? Right. And there's also a big construction project that may have displaced something from its habitat. Okay. So we're talking about a diminished habitat and something could be desperate. Right. Okay. So this is the photograph taken by the woman that did a follow-up investigation, right? Right. So that's the hole that was dug. And that does not look like uh, cemetery work. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. That looks like something that would get uh, get their person fired. Indeed. And if you look at the next shot, she, uh, the female investigator, drew this line on here saying... Right. Yeah, that's where the leg of the creature figure was. Right. And of course, because we saw it, you know, we saw it bent over, just yeah. hand over fist, digging dirt out. And then this is... That's the fix that the cemetery made to make it look somewhat like it's supposed to. And they did a nice job because you would never know that this was any different from any of the other little... <laughs> yeah, no, it looks completely out of place, but that's the best they could do. Maybe they'll maybe they'll come back and fix this later on. But, so this was a problem for the cemetery. I yeah. mean, they had to come in and do a patch job and... Yeah, I mean, you can even see on the right side where all of the dirt was scooped onto the parking lot and... Yeah, it was just a mess. And so maybe this hole got even deeper. She said it was how wide and how deep? 21 inches deep and 18 inches wide. And she saw no um, use of tools. It was definitely handwork only. So I don't know what that was digging. But yeah. I, I do know it was not a cemetery employee with a shovel. Right, no. 
and no one is really clear on what it is. There's a, a lot of talk. Okay, so here is a bird's eye view of the cemetery. Right. And a lot of people were saying, hey, I live in that area. There's no way a Bigfoot could get to this or, or whatever that thing is. Right. Well, look, um, here's the town, right? Right. And if, if you look back here, here's creeks. There's a huge reservoir back here. I mean... Yeah, and a lot of that you can't really tell, but it's heavily forested. Um, a lot of that right. green space is really dense um, with trees. And so, yeah. So lots of water, lots of wooded areas. So... Yeah, habitat. Yeah. Okay, so what's your call on this? Well, it's definitely weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's pretty weird. Um it, you know, it struck me, graveyards aren't the type of places to really pull practical jokes. No, definitely not. You know, like and this, ooh, we pulled the funniest Halloween practical joke kind of thing. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, that would be in really poor taste. And, like, to wreck, to dig up a cemetery, like, that's the worst kind of mojo. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just bizarre. Oh, and something, something we haven't talked about. There's this black object out there. I mean... Is that a bird? I don't know. Is it a is it a baby? Is it Junior that was told to, to sit out there? I mean, I can't tell. That, that's right. just speculation. It's just all... That's very strange. All so, so creepy. Yeah. And the fact that you can, in the very beginning, see long... Yeah. Long fur. Yeah. It's like so strange. Hanging, hanging off really slender looking arms. Incredibly. So so there's, there's Bigfoot speculation, yet you don't see... Right. The hulking massive size, but not all Bigfoots are giants. This could be... Sure. And there's there's something in this area that's called a grass man. And there's talk of it being this grass man, which are supposed to be smaller than a t traditional Bigfoot. Oh, which is a really interesting local thing for someone to say about this. Right. All right, guys. So it's your time to weigh in. <laughs> uh, wh what do you make of this? All right. And a special thanks and a special welcome to my brand new members, my tribe here on YouTube. They click this join button. You can too. And for only 99 cents a month. That's right. 99 cents a month. You get an avatar out by your name down in the comments to set yourself apart so we can see who our supporters are. And you will get access to video that nobody else can see except for my patrons over on patreon.com. Thank you so much to those guys. They've been there with me for so long. I appreciate you all so much. All right, everybody, please subscribe. Like, comment, and share. All right, guys, that's all we've got. Happy, uh, happy new year. Very happy new year. All right.